Now the Whelan 800 Series D has been around for a long time. In fact, it actually preceded the 800C, which preceded the Whelan 800. And we're talking about almost 30 years of beacon life. But the 800D has a bulb in it. It's actually a strobe tube to be technically correct. And Chris is going to go right ahead and change it. Let's see how he does it. Thank you, Stuart. Here in front of me is Whelan Engineering's 800D strobe beacon. This happens to be the high profile with the cone dome. It also has a short, low profile dome that looks very similar to a 2022 series. Very popular beacon. His rough and tumble survived for many, many years. It's still available today. Different color configurations, blue, amber, red, green on fire command, and white as well for DOT and some other services. What I'm gonna show you here is how simple it is to remove the outer dome, remove a few screws, and change out the internal strobe tube should you have one that burns out and needs to be replaced. So to get us started, Phillips head screw bit and two screws that hold the outer dome onto the base will be removed. Just go ahead, give it a bit of a wiggle, help break the seal from the base here. The trim ring is part of the base and what helps to hold it down. So as you can see, it can be easily put on and removed from the beacon. Reason with this here is on the bottom, you have a one inch standard thread base. So if you're going to fix it on to a standard pull, go ahead, use the base as provided. With that, no need for the trim ring. If you're going to flat mount it onto a surface on the back of an apparatus, DOT truck, extensions off of a headache rack or pylon, the trim ring is very useful. It goes around the base and then with bolts, screws or rivets, you'll go ahead, run them through and it'll fix on to a flat surface. Inside here, center mount strobe tube and it's the classic curly Q. So it looks very similar to the hideaway strobe tubes. If you need to remove it, two screws hold it in to the main board here. And also the board is completely epoxy sealed hence why I can touch it with my fingers. Remove the bit here, switch over to a smaller. And from there, go ahead, grab the strobe tube by the base housing and go ahead, wiggle it free from its base. As you can see, easily removes, has alignment pins on the bottom here, and in turn, those will match to the pins in the alignment set on the epoxy sealed electronic base assembly here. So with that, when you're putting in a new strobe tube, it'll go in proper and proper posts for the three connections every time. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead set this one aside and grab a fresh one. The part number, should you need to order a replacement from us, is 80D tube. So pretty straightforward, 800 series beacons, 80D tube. So like part for the like beacon. Reinstalling, very straightforward. Align the base with the portion here. Just going to remove the two screws for now. Go ahead and push it in. It'll hold in nice and firmly. And even with that, you can see upside down without the screws, it's snapped into place very snug. We'll take the two mount screws, reinsert those here. Again, keep in mind when doing this at home or at the shop, 
not to touch the strobe tube itself. So if you want to throw on a pair of gloves, good useful tip. So with the screws repositioned, I'll go ahead, tighten them into the base. From here, go ahead, take the original dome and reinstall it. There's two tabs that the screws will affix into. One here, one on the back. They'll correspond to the two inserts on the dome itself. And again, it's the same for the screw lineup on the low dome and also the internals for the low series, just because it's a different dome, the strobe tube, same part number, same look, same process for removing and putting in the fresh one. Also a nice thing with these being the strobe series, your tube inside is a nice bright flash. So the dome is what gives you the visual color. So if you want to upgrade, change from amber to blue, red to blue, any cases where you want to change it, easy enough, give us a call and let us know you need a new 800D series, either high or low dome. Going to go ahead, realign everything with the base. And from there, we'll take the two screws that came out originally and back in they'll go. From there, we'll go ahead, 12 volts here, ground source here, and let it come alive. And there you have it, the Wheel and Engineering 800D strobe beacon and how to change a bulb should you need to do so at home, in the field, or back at the shop. Another thing to keep in mind when it comes to this and strobe beacons alike is the internal capacitor will hold a charge for a bit of time after the beacon has been deactivated. So with that, should you be doing this, make sure that once power is disconnected from the beacon, give it about 10 minutes for the charge inside on the capacitor to dissipate. That way, when you're doing this again on your side, everything will be nice and safe and you'll also have a proper and successful installation for the strobe tube. I'm Chris, thanks for watching on SirenNet Television. Back to you, Stuart. The 800D strobe bulb change, courtesy of our young Chris. You've been watching SirenNet Television. I'm Stuart, and as always, thanks for watching.